This is Shilika. Now I would like to discuss about the topic called exception hardly. So, so first of all, what is an exception? The unwanted or unexpected situation in the Java application is called an exception. So, but these exceptions are in the runtime only. And what is an exception handling in a sense? So, the mechanism of handling an exception is called uh, an exception handling. So, now see what now we'll see what are the advantages of handling these exceptions. So, first thing to give useful information to the user. And the second thing, uh, to, re to return the resources properly. And the third one is to continue the normal flow of the execution. So first of all, what is the what is the exception in the sense? So in the real time example, uh, for example, if you are driving in a car, so from uh, like Mumbai to Pune or some other uh, any place, uh, so in that time, so there is an uh, puncture is happened. So that is an ex ex exception. So that is an unwanted or unexpected situation while you are driving a car. So that is an exception in the real time example. So and we'll see what is an exception in the uh, in terms of Java. Like what are the kind of exceptions are there? So that is we will see in a program. For example, in mathematical calculation, so if you write some uh, some 10 by 0, so that value is infinity. But when it comes to Java, so if you write like 10 by 0, so you, uh, that here it will throw some exception, so that we will see how it will go. So here I am taking a variable that is int a equals to some value 10 and b equals to some value 0 and I am taking another variable c. So here I am writing a code from c equals to a by b. So, uh, normal in, in terms of mathematics, so if you write like 10 by 0, so it is like infinity value. But when it comes to Java, so here it will throw an exception because in terms of Java there is no uh, like uh, there is no infinity value. So here it will throw an exception. This ex exception is called an arithmetic exception. So not only arithmetic exception, in Java we have the uh, n number of exceptions that is like one is array index out of bound exception, class not found exception and null, null point exception also. Now we will see uh, like what are the types of exceptions. So first of all exceptions are two types.
So one is checkered and one is unchecked. So what are the checkered exceptions means? So the checkered exceptions are checked during the compile time. And unchecked exceptions are checked during run time. So uh, in the compile time, so there is um, ex exceptions called like IO exceptions and SQL exceptions. And when it comes to the run, run time, so we have we have seen like arithmetic exception, and also there is array index out of bound exception and null pointer exception and also we have class not found exception so in order to come to the normal flow of uh, normal flow of execution so we will uh, we will use some blocks that is like try block catch block finally block and we will use some keywords like throw and throws now uh, we will see how how to handle these exceptions with using these blocks. So whatever the exception that occurred here, so that we need to write in the try block. And in order to continue the normal flow of this uh, execution, so we will we need to give the alternate solution for this exception. So here it will throw an arithmetic exception. So we need to give alternate solution for this one. So for that we will write the alternate solution in the catch block. So in this catch block we need to write what kind of exception it was. And here I am writing arithmetic exception. And here you need to give one reference object. So here I am giving the reference object as E and you need to write the alternate solution for this exception. So here I am writing, so in normal in terms of Java it is not possible but when it comes to 0 by 10, so it will show some value right, that I am writing here. So here we are taking the try block and cast block so it, it is throwing an exception that is arithmetic exception and we have written here alternate solution so that is c equals to b by a so now it is executed first of all jvm will come to here so it will check uh, it will check here it will throw an exception here so uh, and it will search for the refer, uh, reference like exception uh, where it is showing the arithmetic exception it will search for that and it will show the it will exclude the uh, reference catch block here and irrespective of the try, try block and clash block, catch block so we will use finally block for the uh, So in the try block we are writing some a by b equals to some value and it is drawing an exception here and for alternate solution we are writing cache block.
if it is throwing any exception here then it will check for the triplet there is no any exception here for suppose if i am writing v by a here itself then there is no exception here so it will continue the normal flow of execution it will execute the try block first and after that it will execute the final block Thank you. 